Um, now for the second layer. You are going to want to have, um, so, put, so find a piece, um, I'm doing yellow, the, I did the yellow face first for my first layer, and so opposite yellow is white, right, so find a piece with no white on it, so let's say you guys are doing blue, um, so you did blue. Then you would find a piece with no green on it because green is the opposite blue and so forth. Um, so now find a piece with no white on it. So right here, green and orange. So now position orange with orange. Let's say it was flipped around. Then you would position green with green. But that's not right because orange is down. So anyways, you'd use, you position that and then have it facing you, have the position piece facing you. So up, right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And now that's in place. Didn't mess up that. Now, for another piece for going left, that was going to the right. So now if it's going left, because, see, has to go to the left well that looks like right for you guys but whatever um so now up inverted left up left inverted up front up inverted front inverted i don't know if i got that right i haven't said the algorithms in a long time sorry if it's wrong but um, now if you got, if you did that right, um, then you would have that. So now I'm going to the right again, this time, because blue, and now has to go to the, that looks like left for you guys, but it's actually going to the right for me, so, um, up, right, inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. Now that's in place. I got three place, three in place. Now for the last one. Position it the right way, like that. So it's going to the left this time. So up inverted, left, up, left inverted, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. Now you got the whole second layer. Didn't mess any of that up. Now, there's three things you could have. You could have this line. You could have um, this backwards L. See? Like that, backwards L. Or... Actually, there's four. Um, you could have a cross. That's what you're trying to get to. This is what you're trying to get to, the cross. Or you could have a dot. Just You could just have a dot with no connections. And um, if you just have one connection like this, that means, and like three are not connecting, just one is connecting like that, um, that means either your cube is unsolvable or um you haven't completed the whole second layer so check that if you have um that problem so now um let's say you had messed up sorry okay let's say you had the backwards L right you would do front right up inverted right inverted up inverted front inverted up front up right 
there. Now you have that. It's not complete. I just got um, a full top. It doesn't matter. It could be no corners. It could be two corners. It could be one corner. It doesn't matter. Um, but now what you would do is align two of the middle pieces. Um, and you're always going to be able to get two. If you don't get two, that means you have an unsolvable cube. Um, so align two, like this, red and green. And now I'll put one put facing away from you, and then one in your right hand. So, like this. So it's green and red. One's facing away, and one is in my right hand. And then do right, up inverted, right inverted, up inverted, oh, sorry, change all the ups to, no, change all the up inverteds to up, sorry, um, lost my train of thought, oh yeah, right, up, up, right inverted, and now you will have all the, um, center pieces aligned, now you just have the corners left, right, so let's say you had well, in this case, I have one in the right spot and three of them, they're all out of alignment, but one's in the right spot. It's just not solved yet. Right here. So, <clears throat> what you have to do, you have to put that piece in the bottom right corner and do up, right, up inverted, left, up inverted, no, up, sorry, um, up. Right inverted, up inverted, left inverted. Now, maybe you have to do that, at the most you would have to do that three times to get all the corner pieces in the right position. Um, or you could do two, or you could just do one time. I had to do it one time, and now they're all in the right position. Uh, see? All in the right position. I just have to align them now. So what you would do, um, you would do right inverted, down inverted, right down. That, um, okay, let me show you on this cube. Um, right inverted, down inverted, right down. You can just do that over and over and over until the cube is solved, see? So it's right inverted, down inverted, right down. And then just do that over and over until the piece you need to solve is solved. And then, so, for this, how you solve it, um, you would do right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And now that piece is solved, right? See? And then, instead of turning the whole cube so you have another one in the spot, you would turn the top face so you have another cube that's unsolved in that spot. So always use the same corner spot for right inverted down inverted right down, but just keep turning the top face so you put a new unsolved cube in that spot. If you get what I mean. I don't know if that's clear or not, but so just do right inverted down inverted right down until it's solved again. And you should come to something that looks like this. See? Everything is solved except for two corner pieces. And now you do right inverted, down inverted, right down, over and over again until you get it solved. See? Now it's solved. And now you turn the top face again until you have one piece that's not solved. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. And now the cube is solved. So. Um, I don't know if that made any sense, but I hope it helps. Thanks.